How's it going everyone? As I mentioned yesterday, yes in fact, the PlayStation Store Spring Sale is live right now. This is gonna be a big one, as this sale is live until April the 24th, so it is a four week long sale. And I don't know if they're gonna be cycling in new deals, let's actually find that out right now, and uh, I could probably tell. Yes, okay, so there are deals that are live uh, until April the 11th. Generally speaking, when they do sales like this, when deals cycle in and out, um, it's a two week period that all of these are gonna last. Some of them might last the entire four weeks, it really varies game to game just go into the page and uh, it should tell you um, when the deals are ending. I feel like Sony doesn't do a pretty, uh, very good job in promoting that aspect. And uh, as I'm recording this video, it looks like all of the deals are not yet live. It looks like some of the deals are going live, so bear with me, but the games are listed. Uh, I'm recording this video 1230 Eastern time, so it is a little early, but nonetheless, I do already see some notable deals at the top. Let's get rid of the DLC though. You guys know I'm not about talking about the DLC, so let's filter this real quickly. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to ask you guys, please like this video and do leave a comment with your thoughts. It really does help out the channel a lot, and it is much appreciated. We got north of 1,200 deals when I filter it by full games, game bundles, and premium edition. So, right off the top, see Dead Space Remake, 60% off for $28. Now, the thing is, this is now available on EA Access. To me, this is probably like the selling point as far as the vault catalog of EA Access. Star Wars Jedi Survivor is not there yet, but Dead Space Remake as well as Wild Hearts are both in EA Access, so those are both pretty sizable games, all things considered, and uh, I would definitely consider signing up for that uh, if you just want to play it and, you know, you don't care about owning the game, whatever the deal is. But Dead Space Remake was awesome, just unfortunate it had to be released like just a couple months before the RE4 remake. Games are different, but you know, big survival horror remakes, RE4 just kind of got more attention. But Dead Space was awesome, and I hope they do more with the franchise in totality. Uh, Gran Turismo 7. Man, oh man, this game has been holding up in price, guys. Uh, this game came out back in March of 2022, and GT7 is 43% off for the PS5 version, $39.89 still. I don't know why this is so expensive. I guess it's a sense that, you know, if you want to play Gran Turismo, you'll pay the money and play Gran Turismo. That's what I assume it is. At some point, they gotta be thinking about adding this to Plus Extra. Maybe they won't. Um... Maybe this is just a cash cow for them. I don't know the commercial numbers of GT. I know it's a big franchise for them, but damn, it's still $39.89. Um, it's a great game. I definitely would recommend it if you're a fan of sim racers, but kind of wild that it's that expensive. Cyberpunk 2077 is listed, but it looks like the deal isn't live yet. As I'm recording this video, it's listed at $49.99. So take that for what you will. Um, Cyberpunk 2077 is great now. I would highly recommend it. Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut, 58% off for $29.39. You guys know how I feel about that game. I think that game is absolutely tremendous. Can't wait for it to drop on PC as well. I think the PC audience is certainly going to gravitate towards that game. And it's an awesome game. I'll say right off the top, you know, I push back on some of the people saying that Jin isn't a great main character. What I'll say is he's a fantastic main character and honestly one of the best developed main characters that a PlayStation title has ever had. Um, I would go that far. I, that's how strongly I push back on the notion that Jin isn't a compelling character. I think if you think that Jin isn't a compelling character, you didn't play the entirety of this game because I can certainly understand if you don't think he's a compelling character within the first couple of hours of the game, but by the end, man, his character arc is so fantastic, but I've been down that rabbit hole quite a few times. Let's just move on. Wild Hearts is $28 as well. Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition is $15. That's obviously a great price for Witcher 3 and the DLC. We're not back to that $9.99 uh, price point that the game was at for so long prior to the PS5 version coming out. But like, bro, $15 for Witcher 3 is still highway robbery. One of the greatest games of all time, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, just a tremendous game. PS5 upgrade is pretty good, to say the least, so definitely worthwhile to check that out. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart is on sale. The base game, again, the price isn't updated on my page right now, but the Deluxe Edition is 40 bucks. It is on Plus Extra. Like, I love Ratchet Rift Apart. Honestly, from the Insomniac leak, like, as 
devastating as that leak was, outside of like the leak happening and it just being a disastrous situation, uh, probably like the release timeline of when we're gonna get a new Ratchet game tentatively right now, that was the most depressing thing imaginable. Like Ratchet is a franchise and I get it, these Marvel games are a cash cow and Insomniac, uh, you know, if you look at the sales numbers of a Ratchet Rift Apart and then you look at the sales numbers of even uh, Miles Morales, not even a new Spider-Man game, just a, uh, you know, bridge the gap kind of standalone expansion. I understand why they keep doing the Marvel titles. It's gonna be, you know, what is the bigger return on the investment, even if you gotta pay crazy Marvel licensing fees, but uh, yeah, Ratchet just being done dirty, man. It's a franchise I grew up with, and it's just sad we're probably not gonna get another game until like 2029 at the very least. Can we get a Ratchet Future Collection? Uh, that would at least uh, bridge the gap a little bit there. Dying Light 2 Stay Human is 30 bucks. I mean, that's a pretty decent deal, but uh, Dying Light 2, in my opinion, should be down to 20 bucks right now. That's another game that came out in early 2022 and for some unknown reason it's still super expensive so uh yeah let's get that a little bit cheaper dragon ball xenoverse 2 50 off for 9.99 i think xenoverse 2 is a really good game um obviously it does have a lot of bonus content like dlc content and things like that so keep that in mind if you really want all the content you got to pay a pretty penny uh battlefield 2042 nine dollars uh 1049 for the ps5 edition look i hear ad nauseum that battlefield 2042 is a pretty good game now i can't speak on that but take that for what you will uh, Dragon Ball Fighters is on sale, Like a Dragon Ishin. These are all deals that if I'm not saying the price point, it's not updated on my end. They're just listed as part of this sale. So hopefully by the time you guys are watching this video, uh, those price points have been updated. But Like a Dragon Ishin, if that's down to, let's say, $24, like 60% off, that's a decent buy. Anything over that, I would say, probably a skip. A Plague Tale Bundle, Plague Tale Innocence, and a Plague Tale Requiem. I mean, those games are tremendous. Demon Souls, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition, that's $9.99 for the two people that don't own it. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is $12. Uh, DBC Kakarot on sale. Love that game. I think it's fantastic. Uh, Tekken 7, COD... I mean, Black Ops 4. Who's trying to pick up Black Ops 4 at this stage of the game? I don't know. Dragon Ball The Breakers. Uh, yeah, that game is uh, a little questionable, to say the least. Assassin's Creed Origins Deluxe Edition, $14. I mean, it's 60 FPS on PS5, so take that for what you will. Dying Light Definitive Edition. I'm going to guess that's going to be down to $9.99. And if it's down to $9.99, that's a phenomenal price point. A Way Out, $6. If you got a friend to play with, A Way Out is awesome. And you can invite a friend to play that game with you for free. So definitely uh, worthwhile to check that out. Out. Naruto de Boruto Shinobi Striker, $9.99 on that. Returnal, I imagine that's still going to be kind of pricey. Returnal is another one of those games that has held up in price, but it is on plus extra, so you can play it that way if you do want. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, $2.39 for that. That, I mean, <laughs> meme on Battlefront 2 all you want, $2.39, that, that, that's a... That's a definitely a decent, uh, that's a decent little deal, all things considered. Back for Blood Ultimate Edition, $9.99. Borderlands 3, Death Stranding. City Skylines, uh, PS4 Edition is on sale. I'm guessing the PS5 Edition is on sale. It is 75% off for $9.99. City Skylines 2 is a train wreck, so not a bad idea to check City Skylines 1 out because it's pretty good. Batman Arkham Knight, $4. Subnautica, $12. Castle Crashers Remaster, $2.99 on that for plus subscribers. That's a bargain. That's the cheapest I've seen Castle Crashers 1 for. I mean, not to say there's a Castle Crashers 2, but you get the idea. Um, that's the cheapest I've seen Castle Crashers for. And Castle Crashers is great. If you want a fun co-op title, I think that game is great. Every time I say that, I think that game is, uh, you know, best played cooperatively and you shouldn't play it solo. Somebody always pushes back and says the game is great solo as well. So take their opinion for it. Castle Crashers is awesome in my opinion and uh, definitely would recommend it. My Hero 1's Justice 2 is 9 then I think that's a pretty good deal, all things considered. I mean, if you're a fan of My Hero and you want a fun arena fighter, it's a good time, all things considered. Outlast 2, $3. Outlast Trinity, $5.89. AC4 is $9 as well, so that's a decent uh, little pickup. AC Syndicate is $14.99. Not a bad deal there. Hollow Knight, sorry that I'm not giving you guys prices. Again, on my end, it's just not updated or there's a bug going on. I don't know the deal. Uh, Risk of Rain 2, $6.24. Remnant from the Ashes is $12. That's the first game. Judgment for PS4 is $10.49. I saw a lot of you guys still rocking your PS4. Like, obviously, I would recommend you, if you do have a PS5, to get the PS5 version of the game, but uh, if you're still rocking your PS4, Judgment's awesome on PS4 as well. It might not, uh, you know, be as refined as the PS5 version, $14 on the PS5 version, by the way, but Judgment's still a damn good game, and I would certainly give it a recommendation, so definitely uh, check that one out. 
South Park The Stick of Truth is $7.49. Little Nightmares Complete Edition is $7.49 as well. Bioshock The Collection, $9.99. Some good deals all around. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me. I'm going to end the video here just because I'm going to wait for these prices to update. Kingdom Come Deliverance, by the way, $4.49. Prey, uh, $6 as well. Prey Digital Deluxe for $10. That's great. Dishonored Definitive Edition, $4.99. Every time I try to wrap up the video, I just, like, keep clicking the pages. I'm like, oh, that's a good deal. That's a good deal. So, let me end the video now. Sorry that... But, you know, the PSN store is kind of screwing me over right now. Burnout Paradise Remastered, $1.99? Brosif, guys, what the hell? $1.99 for Burnout Paradise? I know I recommend that game ad nauseum, but a buck ninety nine is Highway Robbery. What's up with these EA deals? Star Wars Battlefront 2 for two and change. Burnout Paradise Remastered for a buck ninety nine. Best deal of the sale that I've seen. As far as right now, Burnout Paradise, $1.99. Definitely recommend that. All right, let me wrap up this video. Your thoughts down below in the comment section down below. Sound off there. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads. And we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.